Hi, I'm Amy Henry with the Maryland Department of Natural Resources. I'm an educator with the department and today we're going to talk about an important water quality assessment of pH. A chemical test that measures how acidic or base a body of water can be. pH is measured on a scale of 0 to 14. pH scale is not a linear scale, it's a logarithmic scale. 0 is very acidic, think of vinegar or lemon juice and 14 would be more basic. Baking soda is a more basic solution. Seven would be neutral. Most aquatic organisms can live in a pH between 6.5 and 8.5, but closer to seven is ideal. The acidity that ends up in bodies of water started during the Industrial Revolution. So power plants produce sulfur dioxide and that goes into the atmosphere, mixes with the moisture in the atmosphere and makes sulfuric acid. And as that sulfuric acid comes down in the environment, it produces acid rain, which would make a body of water more acidic. To do the pH test kit, I've prepared a sample of water from the creek here. I have my Lamotte pH test kit with the directions which I'm going to be using. They're very simple. The first thing I'm going to do is fill my test tube to the 10 milliliter line with the sample of water that's in my bucket. So it's important to be precise when you're doing water quality testing. I often like to rinse my test tube twice with the sample water to make sure it's clean. And you're also going to hold it eye level. My next step two says to add 10 drops of the wide range so I'm going to carefully count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go slowly so you don't get more drops than you need. I'm going to recap the reagent. Then I'm going to cap my test tube. It screws in and I'm going to gently mix it. So you can already see the color change and then I'm going to slide the test tube here and then you're going to compare the color. So you don't want a lot of direct sunlight coming behind. To me it's up to the top so the color might be even more. So I would actually say that is about 7.0, which is a neutral pH, which is excellent. So all aquatic organisms can live in a neutral pH. Another important step when you're doing water quality tests, these are chemicals, so we don't want to put them back into the body of water. So you always have a waste jar. So then you want to follow the directions in the test kit and how to dispose of it properly.